This is the Ecovax DBOT X1 Omni. It's an all-in-one cleaning solution for your home. And I have to say it's probably the smartest vacuum I've seen. It's not even a robot vacuum anymore. This does so much more. It's got incredible obstacle avoidance, video control, and also it's voice controlled. Let's take a closer look. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. So thank you to Ecovax for sending this across for me to review. They've not asked me to say anything good or bad about it and all of the views I express will be my own genuine opinion. So this is the DBOT X1 Omni. It's an all-in-one cleaning solution for your home. On the left, you have the robot vacuum itself and on the right, I guess it's the power station. This is where the vacuum goes in, fills itself up with water, empties the dirty water, and also empties the bag containing all of your dust particles. And it does that all automatically. This vacuum is very simple to set up and I'll go through that process in this video. In the actual robot vacuum box itself, you get two cleaning mop heads, as well as the two vacuum heads, all of your instructions and also a spare dust particle bag. There's the power cable and then obviously you have the robot vacuum, which I think looks pretty smart. It's very similar to most that you see on the market, but this does have quite a good quality look to it with its brushed metal and almost like dark gray appearance. There's the cameras on the front. This helps guide it around and also avoid obstacles. And you've got the LiDAR scanner on top. And this creates floor plans and lets you even have a 3D look at your property. So you can buy this in different configurations with either without the actual base station and just the robot itself and that will come with this package or you can elect to go for the smaller system, the turbo, or you can go for this main one. Now I would definitely recommend this main one because it's got absolutely everything that you'll need. It's quite big though, if you look at my spring spaniel there, it actually is slightly bigger than her. Lifting up the lid, you'll see that you've got the instructions for how to set this up and also you've got the two water tanks. The one on the left is for the dirty water that comes out of the robot vacuum. In the middle, there's a handy little compartment which has another couple of spare mop heads which you can then replace. So if you're cleaning one of them, you can then put these on and you've also got a brush to keep your vacuum and the base station in tip top condition. And then finally, on the right hand side, you've got your clean water tank. Both of these tanks are four liters and so therefore you shouldn't have to refill or empty very often at all. Obviously that will just come down to your own personal use. And then tucked away just in the middle there and with a little button underneath is the dust bin compartment. And here you've got the bag, which is a two and a half liter bag. And so therefore, again, you shouldn't have to empty that and change it too often. The base station sits nicely against a wall and it's recommended that this is on a hard surface and to set it up you just lift up the flap and then scan the QR code. The first thing that I recommend you do is a quick scan of the room. Now this is where it will use the sensors and the LiDAR scanner to go around your location and create your map. And you can see that appearing on your phone as it's going around. It really is very smart. Now it doesn't take too long to complete. I've just sped up the process. But what's clever about this robot is that not only does it detect the map, but it then predicts the rooms and it will create an indication of the rooms as it's gone round. Now I'll show you that in just a second because that's where you can go in and rename them. So this is the map that it's created for me. Now it's got it pretty much right, although my corridor it has divided into two for some reason. But there's no worry, you can go in and then merge those together. You can then click on 3D map and it will create a 3D map of the location, as you can see. And then you can spin it round and have a play with it. And it will always show you where the base station is and also where the robot is. So if you do lose it, then it will show you where it is on the map. It has got the facility to also detect furniture. Now, it did this okay with me, but it wasn't perfect. It didn't detect one of my sofas and it didn't detect my table and chairs, but the good news is you can put those in afterwards. Now, in this area, you can be as accurate or as vague as you want. Now, I just haven't changed the size of the sofa. I just selected a two-seater sofa and also a table and chairs. It doesn't really make any difference because the obstacle avoidance will work anyway. But where this can be helpful is if you're using the voice control, then you can tell it to go and clean under the sofas, for instance. And so that's something which, if you wanted to, then you can do. But obviously, you need to make sure that the sofas are then in the right location. So I've now been into my map and I've given all of the rooms their correct name and I've merged the hallway, which was split into two, and it's just now called Corridor 1. 
So now those rooms have been created, if you want to, again with the control, you can tell it to go and clean a specific room rather than having it clean everywhere. And you can set the customization of that clean. So in here you can choose whether the robot goes over that location or any location once or twice. You can choose whether it's a quiet mode or max or max plus and obviously that will give you the highest level of vacuuming. You've also got the option to increase the water flow level, so if the mopping needs to be more intense, then set the water level to high. Another feature that you can do in the advanced setting is set up different cleaning schedules. You've got smart cleaning options, you can change things like the drying time of the mops, whether that be over a few hour period or do it very quickly, and also you've got the cleaning schedule where you can go in and set it to automatically clean at various different times of the day or night. So right at the beginning I showed you that this has video control as well and here you can make calls to the robot vacuum and actually speak to whoever may be in the house and you can set it to home patrol and this is a great security feature which you can literally just press home patrol and then it will go around your house showing you the live camera feed as it comes in. And you can even set this to be scheduled so that you can do certain patrols at certain times. Now this could be a great way of keeping an eye on a cat, for instance, sat on the chair there, or anything else. It's just a nice security feature and rather than it being a gimmick, it's actually something which can definitely be used in reality. As well as working with Google Assistant and Alexa, this also has its own built-in voice recognition service, which is great because it means that you don't have to have one of their devices. And the amount of commands that you can give this thing really just takes too long for me to go through. There are so many things that you can ask it to do. And I found that it did work pretty good all of the time. Great for individual cleaning. Okay, Eco. I'm here. Mop the kitchen. And after cleaning the mop, off it went to mop the kitchen. And when it's finished, after each time or each event, it will come back to the station, empty the dirty water into the dirty water tank, refill with clean water, and also wash those mops and dry them to the setting that you've chosen. This thing is very, very smart. Okay, so how well did this thing do? Well, it had pretty good results all the way around. I set up this little test where I filled up three glasses of water and I wanted to see how well it avoided them. And would it knock them over, create more of a mess than what it's designed to do? But it was actually pretty successful. On the first pass, it didn't touch them at all but it wasn't 100% perfect. There were a couple of times where it just nudged on the side. So I think on the next version of this, if they had another sensor just on the outer edges, I think that that would be brilliant. As you can see, it's negotiating around them pretty well, but it's not 100% and it just brushes it occasionally. Wasn't enough to knock the glasses over, but obviously it's not perfect. Now, in reality, this thing isn't going to be avoiding glasses of water on the floor. It's going to be avoiding furniture and things like that. And I found that it worked perfectly. It found its way through all of the little gaps and did a good job of cleaning. Speaking of cleaning, the best thing about this, without a doubt, is that mopping function. I've not seen a better mop on any robot vacuuming mop at all. This, with those rotating mop pads, definitely does the best job. Cleaning up even spills of drink and small stubborn stains was absolutely no issue at all for this mop. It definitely did a great job. Now, with regard to the vacuuming, I recommend that you set this to vacuum an area twice. I found that sometimes on the first pass, it actually moved some of the debris, some of those porridge oats that you can see on the floor, and obviously it then didn't go back and pick them up. But the second time it went round, it picked them up fine. It worked brilliantly with obstacles like these type of chairs. It went in and out of all of the chairs and got as much as possible vacuumed and mopped. So I will run through some of the other stats for this vacuum mop in just a second. But I do have to say that if you're looking for something which does an all-in-one job where you don't have to worry about keep on emptying it and you can just leave it to get on with the job that it's there to do, get in all the nooks and crannies and do a brilliant job, then the D-Bot Omni X1 is definitely one that you ought to consider. It's the smartest one that I've seen so far. It definitely is something which I would recommend. One thing that you do need to be aware of is that if you've got carpets and hard floors, then you need to remove the mop heads in order to do the carpet. It automatically detects carpet and then avoids it if it's got the mop modules installed. And so therefore that's something which you need to think about when you're setting this thing up. You can either have it in vacuum mode with no mop modules, or you can have it in vacuum and mop mode, but that's designed for hard floors. 
So let's just cover off some of those main features again. So this is a vacuum and a mop facility. There is an auto clean function, which means that you don't actually have to touch this thing, it auto empties and refills. There is hot air drying of those mop pads, which means that helps to reduce bad odors and also bacteria. The power of this vacuum is 5000 PAL, which is pretty good. The built-in AV3D AI technology and the true mapping makes this one of the smartest vacuum mops out there. And with its own unique built-in voice control, it means that you don't have to have another smart device. You can control this directly from the machine. The 4 litre clean and dirty water tanks enable this to be emptied less often and so therefore require less maintenance. The scheduled cleaning means that you can set times for when this is in operation to fit in with your lifestyle. And the security features with video patrol mode and the video calling makes this another great option. If you are interested in this, then check out the links that are in the description. The latest links for the price in your location will be there. Thank you so much for watching this video. If there are any questions, then please do leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.